Skillet with Fire. Oh. All right, so Tell this me a little is, bit about the game. This is Skillet with Fire. It's a two to four player worker placement game where you play as evil overlords trying to take over the city. Uh, to do that, you need to build up your temple um, and gain evil, uh, trying to complete evil schemes through, throughout the city. Now, as your minions pre, uh, complete evil schemes, they're going to uh, be gaining evil. As they gain evil, they're going to hit certain thresholds. So if you see here, um, when you hit a particular threshold, you'll have to roll some dice. Um, when you roll the dice, you're going to lose stuff like HP or gold or authority. Um, when you lose uh, HP, um, you start off with five. If you get down to zero, you're out of the game. Any evil that you gained to that point, you're, that's, that's your score. Um, Throughout the game, you're going to be uh, moving your minions around. Your minions are going to change. You're going to, you're going to uh, gain different rooms and labs in your lair to totally. change your minions yeah. into minions with special powers. Uh, yeah, after, after, after. Uh, those minions have different special powers. The power minion gives you an additional after, like, resource. Uh, the magic minion allows you to move your other minions around. The strong minion allows you to uh, not be challenged in a particular space. This is a worker placement game where you can actually fight over different schemes. Um, so you have an authority that is your power over your minions. You can spend an uh, arbitrary amount of authority and whoever has the most, like right now, whoever has the most wins um, and both players lose that much authority. Um, whoever wins gets the scheme and the player has to move to, an additional, to another spot on the board. Um, so uh, uh, the game is over when the temple is corrupted. Um, there's these grand schemes, which are sort of things that players are working for. Um, they require uh, particular special minions, um, and once you get them, there's a corruption marker that goes onto the board. Once corruption hits a particular threshold, the game is then over. Players with the most amount of evil tally the scores. Tally the scores up, and whoever has the most amount of evil at the end of the game is the winner. So it's it's a lot of it's, it's basically a worker placement game, a little bit of pressing your luck, and a little bit of sort of area control, um, and definitely resource management. Thank you so much.